So when our bodies get burned in a fire, those elements return back to the everything. And then some of it is left in a pile of ashes. Right? And so when we get buried, the same thing happens. Now, uh, custom, modern custom has people, you know, get buried in, uh, in a uh, casket. But it's safe to assume, you know, you know, once the water and the, you know, after a, a hundred years, a thousand years, whatever, that wood is probably going to rot through and the water is going to, and your body is going to decompose and it's going to go back into the earth, right? So like in the prayers at funerals or whatever in the Christian religion, they like, you know, back to the earth from dust, you know, where we come from, returning back to dust or something like that, right? So... So the same thing, that body, that human body in the ground is going to decompose and the elements in themselves are going to, are going to be used again by the earth, you know, by the, the, the flows and the systems of everything that's going on around us, you know what I'm saying? Because the molecules don't, they keep existing, they don't go away, you know? So whatever this spirit is that we call eternal, the molecules are eternal, you know, they're going to be, it's going to be used again. You know, in the ground, or 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 when the when the body is burned, it's gonna be used again in the air. You know, the earth and the and the systems of the way things are are gonna use those elements the way they do. Oh man. So, wow, I, I like that 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 concept and that idea of the elements being eternal. Just came like it just popped into my mind that flash. The elements are eternal, whether you're in the ground. Whether you got burned, in, and 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 the, and the air consumes your gases or whatever, and then you, all you're left is a little pile, your elements are eternal, and they will continue to be used by the cycles of life, by the earth, by the whatever happens in the sciences of elements or whatever, right? So now, as we start looking at something like that, then we can think of the language that we're using, right? God, returning to God, returning to the Father, or or even even in reincarnation. Now, this part just really just came to me. The reincarnation part is like, yeah, you may come back as an animal. Yeah, you may come back as a tree. Why? Because your elements are going to be used again because they are eternal. Now, as far as the suffering and all that, you know, that might be a human concept. But your ele the, the things that you are made of will be used again in something else. It might, some of it might be used in a new human, you know, in a tree, in an animal, because we don't know how, you know, science tells us this, how systems are and labels and categories and all that. But when it comes to certain things like this, like there's no actual way to ever really know it. But what we can tell is knowing that those elements will return back to the thing. They are eternal and they will be used again. This is Thesis.